Hi there and welcome to another video from Mr Hegarty here. It's the sixth video for GCSE Maths Revision and we're doing factorising in this video. Just a reminder, pause this and read if you're not sure what to do with these videos. They're short, sharp revision videos on mainly grade C and B topics. Um, what you're supposed to do is do the examples on a revision card and try the exam questions that I'm going to show you at the end on the back of that revision card. So, what we're doing is factorising, the first video on factorising. You'll notice questions 1, 2 and 3 we're just asked to factorise, whereas in questions 4, 5 and 6 we're asked to factorise either with the word fully, completely or completely. Now, when it just says factorise, it's worth one mark, but when it says factorise fully or completely, they're worth two marks because there's two factors that you can factorise out. So, how do we do this? Well, what we do is we look at 5x and we look at positive 10. Is there any number that divides into 5x and 10? Well, hopefully you realise 5 does. So we take 5 outside the brackets. What needs to go here? So when I multiply it by 5, I get 5x, well, clearly an x. What needs to go here? So when I multiply it by 5, I get 10, well, clearly a 2, and we keep the positive sign. Now to check we've done it right, expand in your head out afterwards to check you get that. 5 multiplied by x is 5x, 5 multiplied by positive 2 is positive 10, so we're done. Next one, what divides into 4y and 6? Well, clearly the highest factor out of there you can take is 2. Okay, so open up your brackets. What must go here? So when it multiplies by 2, you get 4y, well 2y. And what must go here to get 6? Well, 3 and put in your plus sign. Afterwards, expand to check you've done it right. 2 multiplied by 2y is 4y. 2 multiplied by positive 3 is positive 6. OK, the next one. The biggest factor we can think of that goes into 10 and 4x. Well, clearly, um, it's uh, some number, because there's not an x in both. Is it 2, 4, 6, or 8? It's 2. So we take out a factor of 2. What must go here? Well, 5. What must go here? Negative 2x. Check by multiplying out. 2 multiplied by 5 is the 10. 2 multiplied by negative 2x is the negative 4x. Okay, now these questions, when they say factorise fully, that means that there's a number factor and an algebra factor as well. So let's deal with the number separately. What goes into 2 and 10? The biggest factor we can think of is a 2, and let's deal with the um, algebra separately. What goes into x squared and x? Well, clearly, we can take an x out. So what would go here? So when I multiply by 2x, I get 2x squared. Must be an x. What must go here? So when I multiply by 2x, I get 10x. Well, it must be plus 5. Check uh, by expanding it works. 2x multiplied by x is the 2x squared. 2x multiplied by positive 5 is positive 10x. Okay, same thing here, com factorise completely. So, deal with the numbers, there's a 3 and a 12, and there's a y squared and an xy. So, what's the biggest factor we can take out of 3 and 12? Well, it's a 3. And what about y squared and xy? Well, we can take a y out. So, what must be inside the brackets? Well, what needs to go here? So, when I multiply it by 3y, I get 3y squared, clearly a y. Put in your plus sign. And what must go here? Well, 4x. Y, well, let's expand out. 3y multiplied by y is 3y squared. 3y multiplied by positive 4x is positive 12xy. And last one, do it as we've done before. So look at the number term separately. There's a 4 and a 6. And look at the uh, algebra term separately. There's an x squared and an xy. So let's try and take out factors. The biggest factor that goes into 4 and 6 is only 2. What about x squared and xy? We can take an x out. Open the bracket. What must go here? Well, a 2x. What must go here? Well, a negative 3y. Why is that? Because 2x multiplied by 2x is 4x squared. 2x multiplied by negative 3y is negative 6xy. And we're done for those examples. So that should be on your revision card. Now have a go at these exam questions, pause the video, and I'll go through the answers in 10 seconds.
Okay, the answer to this would be x, x add 7 for one mark. The answer to this would, you could take out a factor of 3, and it would be 2 plus 3x for one mark. Here, when it says fully, completely, fully and completely, each of these are worth two marks because there's a number and a piece of algebra that can be factorised out. In this case, you could take out a 6 and a y, and you'd have y add 2, like that. In this case, you could take out a 4 and an x, and you'd have 2x add y. In this case, you could take out a factor of 3 and an x, and you'd have 3x subtract 2y. And in the last case, you could take out a 3 and a y, and you would have 2y subtract 3x, like that. So hopefully you found that video useful in your factorising.